Hi guys, it's Thursday evening. Almost ten past nine to be exact. Whatever that was, I just swallowed it. <laughs> I was going to spit it out, but it went the wrong way. Um... I'm going to start with a bit of a Facebook story. Then I'm going to go into a bit of a rant. And then I'll go positive again. So feel free to skip through the video at any point. Um, I suppose this afternoon you could call it a bit of Facebook drama. -ish. I'll just call it having a debate, but a lot of people would call it drama, I think. Um, basically, <laughs> a hand car wash just up the road from me ha is now having to close because they reapplied for planning permission, which has been turned down. Pardon me. On the grounds of drainage, mostly, along with noise complaints. I don't know how you can make noise washing a fucking car, but never mind. Apart from the vacuum cleaner, but I'll I'll backtrack now. Roughly a year ago, year, year and a half ago, something like that, I know it was quite a while ago, the car wash received complaints um, from a couple of nearby houses about a noisy vacuum cleaner. Which I suppose, in fairness, would be quite irritating if it's going all fucking day long. Um, personally, it wouldn't be anything that would annoy me enough to complain about it, but some people are just whingy bastards. Anyway, drainage was brought up back then. This is the first time round. But Anglian Water, the water company, inspected the drains and said they were perfectly fine and they were granted permission to carry on washing cars if they could do something about the vacuum cleaner which they put inside a wooden box or something and soundproofed it you know to dull the noise down the vacuum cleaner's not that noisy anyway I mean, for fuck's sake you run a vacuum cleaner around your own house and if you don't you're a dirty bugger I do just not very often <laughs> I use my GTEx more than the vacuum cleaner actually because they're just as easy um, can I help? <laughs> so, um, oddly enough, a few months or so ago, they received the same complaints regarding noise. Like I said, the only thing related to car washing that makes a noise is a vacuum cleaner, which was in a sound... Well, st they are still trading at the moment. I don't know when they'll close. But it is still in a soundproofed box. So, I don't know what fucking noise it is they're hearing, but never mind. But again, the drainage came up. And apparently they had to make changes to the drains. And they didn't by the given time. So, planning permission was refused, allegedly. It stinks to me and not just because I passed wind <laughs> that was just a poorly timed fart um, but it, it just stinks of bullshit to me I think the council I think it's a racial thing if I'm br brutally honest because they are Eastern European that run the car wash or at least work for the car wash um, and mums use them and they do or, well used to do now they've got to close a damn good job at washing a car and just hoovering it out on the inside. If that's what you want, that's what they do. <laughs> and they do a good job of it. Um, and it was the one, especially the one, there was two ran by the same people. Um, but oddly enough, the one at the garden centre didn't face the same sorts of complaints. And I can't see the drainage up at the garden centre being any different than any of the other fucking drains in the town, but for some reason drainage just so happened to be an issue here where there just so happened to be noise complaints 
I'm not buying the reasons given, personally. But, uh... Anyway. That brings me to a thread about that. I could have just cut a long story short, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> um, a woman on this thread about the closure of the car wash made the claim that they were getting paid less than minimum wage anyway. And she was adamant that this was fact because someone told her. I shit you not. So of course I am just like that. When I see things like that, I've got to wind people up. It's just... <laughs> I'm surprised I don't go out in the street and get smacked in the gob, actually, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, She did actually want my address so she could come and talk to me face-to-face, -face, you know, and discuss it. <laughs> but um, usually I would. But uh, if she takes, you know, what someone told her as being gospel truth, then the chances are she'd probably make up that I said something when I didn't or did something, you know, so... She's not the sort of person I'd want to meet for a chat. <laughs> but... All I said at first, and so did two other people, is, you know... You can't claim that as fact just because someone told you. That wouldn't start if... If you were giving evidence in court and you said I oh, know it's fact your honour because someone told me they ain't going to stand up in court they need proof so unless anyone has actually seen these lads wage slips or the tax returns or anything there is no proof as to what they were or weren't being paid no I'm not calling her a liar I'm not calling the person who told her a liar as far what we were trying to say is it's not fact because you haven't seen the proof <laughs> which makes it just hearsay a rumor it might be true it might not be true but she kept calling it a fact and ugh. she deleted all the comments now so it looks like i've just been arguing with myself because a friend saw that and found it funny because all they could see were my comments and no one else's so whether she deleted it or blocked us well he hasn't even said anything in the thread so I can't see why she'd block him uh, so yeah that was actually good fun was I trolling? Mm, probably <laughs> <laughs> oh dear anyway the thing I wanted to well, yeah, I suppose it is a rant. You know, I keep getting that lad pop round wanting bits for computers and bikes and blah, blah, blah. Well, I loaned him a laptop about two weeks ago. My HP Pavilion Entertainment PC. That's what I had written on it. It's actually a laptop, but I had Entertainment PC on it. Um, the black and silver one with the horrible sticker mark on the black lid where um, there was a big ass smiley face sticker actually if I remember correctly that I peeled off um, but when he was up today I did ask about that and he was like oh oh I threw that away because it broke and that really did fucking piss me off as you can imagine you know that was my property that he allegedly and I'll get into that in a minute threw away because it broke without consulting me first however I'm not so sure he threw it away I think he sold it in fact I'm so sure that he sold it I would bet money on it I would bet the money in my PayPal right now that he sold it and I would double that that I'd be right why? because as you know and you can go back through my videos a few days ago it was either Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. Pretty certain it was Tuesday, actually. 
he came round, and I did mention this in a video that day, wanting to sell me his brand spanking new Claude Butler for 300 quid. Reason given, because he needed money for his car. And he still hasn't sold it. Because he needed tyres or something for his car, even though a 20 quid head unit from the scrapyard was far more important than getting two tyres, but never mind, I won't, you know, it's his money if he wants to spend it on that, it's up to him. <laughs> um, and the other thing that actually made me suspect is, I've already seen two items in Black Records that belong to him. So he's obviously taken them into Black Records and sold them to that guy who's now selling them in his shop. One being the um, tablet I gave him, the big black one, because um, I kept the little white one, unless he's nicked it. <laughs> if he has, I might shove it up his ass. I doubt it, it's here somewhere, but I did keep that one. Um, so yeah, I am highly suspecting that he sold it for some cash. Thinking that little shy me would totally forget, as I haven't said anything for the past two weeks. I don't forget things like that. I forget where I've put things. I forget birthdays. I forget what I've done the day before, you know. I've got bad short-term memory memory. But when I loan things out, I don't forget things like that. So, to say I was absolutely fucking pissed off would be an understatement. I don't know how I didn't know as soon as he said that, how I didn't kick him out of the flat right there and then. It's beyond me, actually. I think I'm too nice for me. I'm good even when I am in a bad mood. Anyway... That's all the negative shit out of the way, so... Um, the Barracuda I've put on Gumtree, and I think in a little while I'm going to put it on eBay as well. I don't like to use eBay, because bikes tend to use up most of my um, limits. Because I'm limited to 10 items a month, or £100, whichever comes first. So yeah, about three bikes, and that's most of the £100 limit gone. <laughs> Which also takes away, you know, the ten items. Because, like I said, it's whichever comes first. <laughs> but uh, I think it might be... I might actually save it till tomorrow, actually. I'll let it run through till tomorrow night and see what happens. Had one person in the rest or inquire about it, I replied, but not had a reply back. So, maybe they found something else, as the case might be. You know, maybe I'm just too late and... Because <laughs> I was out in town at the time with Mum... It's always the case, isn't it? Because I don't use mobile phones, so... Anywho... Um... Pardon me. Um... The other thing I've done is sorted out the Schwinn. Uh... The gears seem to be working with the current drainer, so I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I will take it downstairs for a test ride. I've just got to tweak the brakes a little bit. Because, uh... You can see that side moves, but the other one barely moves. So I've got to do some spring adjustment front as well. And if I can't, then I'm just going to change the bloody V-brakes. Got the tyres on. I just changed the tyre on the front wheel just so as it matches the back wheel and I just realised I've put the wheel in around the wrong fucking way. <laughs> the tread's going the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. That's alright, it's a front wheel, I can just turn it round. That is the one advantage about a wheel that, you know, has a V-brake to stop. With um, disc brakes, you can't just take the wheel out and turn it around. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to check rotation just to make sure any who is um working i am tempted to spend a tenner and just go and uh, blah blah i'll try again and put a new chain on this 
but I'll leave that until I swap the Dralia because I do want to do that at some point even though this one is working I've got wind to come out of both ends now but I can't change it yet because the threads need to be recut on the hanger and I can't remember where I put the tool <laughs> see I told you some things I can remember and other things are just just gone I'm just wondering what I did do with that tablet now getting paranoid see doing what he's done has actually made me totally paranoid not to trust him I actually the chances are if he ever comes up and knocks on the door or rings the door buzzer it's going to be ignored for doing that to me I mean even if we presume he's telling the truth and he did just throw it away because it didn't work you don't do that to someone's property not without you know checking with them first you know what do you want to do with it? Do you want it back to go and get it fixed, you know? You don't just think, oh, it's broken, I'm just going to throw it away. Which is another thing that makes me think he hasn't. And uh, one thing I don't like is being bullshit to. I don't bullshit other people and I don't want it done to me. So, yeah, if you wonder what I'm looking for, that is what I'm actually just looking for. I may not use the tablet, but again, that's not the point. And that laptop might have been free in the first place, but again, it's not the point. It was still my property. And it should have been, you know, checked with me first. Can't even remember where I put that tablet anyway. <laughs> They all seem to like my Alienware. It's just the mouse pad's gone on that. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm trying to sort out of my box of crap that was up there. That's what I've reduced it to, and a little tub in the lounge. Uh, that's the other thing I want to sell, the Ferguson record player, because I know. <laughs> I know that one works, but it's got a dodgy speaker socket on the back. The left one is dodgy. That keeps cutting in and out, and it crackles like hell. Um, but it does differ when I wiggle the plug. And actually, I do believe they've got the wrong plugs anyway. I think Stepdad bought similar ones, but not the exact ones. I'll show you what I mean. I've got these, which I cut off some old Christmas lights. And if you look, the speaker ones are similar to these, but not exact, because this one has got a flat terminal here, my fingers resting up against it, and then it's got like this pin, this one's a round pin, it's not flat. The speaker ones have two flat pins, so I definitely want to get hold of a pair of speakers for it. There's the empty tub. The other tub I've emptied is the tub that I had full of electronics and things. I've got some bits on here that I want to take apart. I want to take the motor off that. Desolder the motors off those. And uh, the top here I've got the crimps. And I've got eyelet crimps, spade crimps. Whatever these ones are, they've got like prongs. Uh... And then I've got my connecting terminals here as well, as well, my terminal blocks and whatnot. And I actually know if I go digging through other drawers and tubs and things, I'll find the others. <laughs> I've got loads dotted around here, there and everywhere. <sighs> Mum should be ringing me later tonight see what she says. I am tempted to go into Black Records tomorrow and just see if he's got it on the shelf. He did have two laptops in there but not the ones. One was a Hewlett Packard and one was a Fujitsu. Uh, which 
reminds me, I've got a Fujitsu laptop I want to put up on eBay. Because I ain't ever going to fix it, so I might as well try it on eBay. Ooh, it's actually a bit chilly in the kitchen. I'm only coming here to look in the kitchen drawer for... for... <laughs> anything that can go in there, actually. Ooh. Adapter from the adapter box. So the other thing that pissed me off, I loaned out the um, universal laptop charger as well, so now that's obviously gone too. So I no longer have a universal laptop adapter. And to me, it's theft. Either way, it's theft. Whatever he's done with it, you know, he's taken it from me and not returned it. And not even told me he'd um, thrown it out. So to me, it's theft. So, he no longer comes up here now. Oh yeah. Got a bracket for this, so I can put this up on the ceiling. I just need to uh, sort those two wires out. Uh, yeah, sort those two wires out. Screw that bracket up to the ceiling somehow and wire it up, and uh, get four LED spot bulbs for it, which is going to cost me a tenner. Because QDs have got an offer on at the minute. I think they're two ninety nine each or two for five pounds. So you save a pound if you buy two. Quite a common offer actually. <coughs> yeah. What's crap on here? What's this? Friggin' gear cable. I'm stood on a dragon, my marker pens. bundle of CDs. I don't know if I... Do you know Nemo hasn't been up on this stereo since uh, he knocked the turntable off? <laughs> I think he learned. <laughs> I wonder if stepdad's forgotten about the uh, <clears throat> thingy there. Oops. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. CD drawers. Oh, I forgot I had these Lego sticker books as well. See, I forget I have lots of things. Right. Well, what I was looking for, definitely, is not laying on here. Laying on there, laying somewhere in the bedroom, laying down there, or on one of these shelves, but I'll find it later. I'm not gonna fuck shit around doing it now. I know it's not up there because I cleared all that crap off last time I had a clean up. Brakes seem to be working. These handlebars are higher. I actually sit at a more, much more comfortable position now. So yeah, it's got road tyres on because I've actually... Well, I wanted it for road use. And with the stiffer suspension, it's going to be um, a nice... Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Bike to use on the road. Right, I found a home for that box of bike bits. Put that lot away later. Uh, a few bits up there to put away. Put your 
certain there's nothing in that cupboard. Uh, what a funny feeling. <coughs> I don't even know why I got that. I'm just going to take the connector block off it and chuck it. So I've got things and I don't even know why I keep them. Absolutely no idea why. Anything down there? There's a bag of bits down there. Oh, my little Dell laptop. My little babby one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, if I cleared up in the lounge, in the theory it should be laying in here somewhere. I hope he hasn't stolen it, otherwise I would have to um, shove it up his fucking arse so he could play on the apps with his tongue. Then again, I have got a pair of jeans gone walkabout as well. I can't remember where I put those. I'm supposed to try them on. <laughs> They're around here somewhere. me making the noise. Oh well. I'm going to shut the camera off. Pour myself a drink. Take my evening tabletti. Uh, yeah, might be that. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.